What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. First off, I wanna say thank you to everybody who supported me on the Legends Media Drop. You guys absolutely killed it. We still have stuff left on the site. So if you're interested, the link will be down below in the description, go check it out. But in today's video, we are working on the Type R. Today, we are finally getting to all of the Gearbox mods. What I mean by that is we have the short shifter adapter, we have the shifter bushing, and we also have a shifter cable lockdown. Now, um, so right off the bat, what I know what we'll be needing is a 14 millimeter wrench as well as as a small screwdriver or like a pick tool to get to get the shift boot down inside of the car so I think the first one that we will go ahead and do is the short shifter adapter and the bushings I think those go hand in hand so the only one that I'm not too sure about and that's probably gonna be pretty hard is the shifter cable lockdown we'll see about that let's go ahead hop into the car and I'll show you guys how the gearbox looks right now So here's the gearbox right now. I'll go first through six so you guys can see the throw. And so we'll go first gear, not very much movement. Then we go second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Already very, very short gearing, and there's really not a lot of play when it's in gear. Really amazing gearbox, but obviously it could be better. And we are going to have the ultimate gearbox, which is gonna be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and start taking this whole assembly apart because in order to make this work, pretty much all of this comes out. Definitely not too easy of a job, but we're gonna get it done. Okay, thankfully all of this stuff comes with really detailed directions, so I will be following this. If you're interested in any of the stuff that I am doing right now, the link to it will be down below. And since these have detailed instructions, I'm not going to go step by step because this is a lot. I'm probably just going to time lapse you guys, set you guys up on the window, and I'll time lapse me taking all of this apart. And once the full assembly is apart, I'll get more in depth and show you guys where things need to go. So uh, let's do it. <laughs> Okay, so far I've removed this back piece right here. Uh, there's two screws inside the center console that need to be removed right there. Also, these side panel pieces that come off where your gearbox is as well as all of your air conditioner buttons and stuff, both sides of that. We've gotten that far, so I'm gonna continue now. Now we have we have full access to the gearbox now. Now hopefully it's time for the fun stuff. Okay, so we're removing all of this. Be very, very careful with these clips on the side. That is really sketchy. And also remember where placement of your plugs are. So gray's on top, white's on the bottom. This is extremely sketchy right here. I am removing this entire panel piece. I'm gonna set you guys down and do this real fast. Okay, now we are completely free. This is sketchy, but I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. We now have tons of room right here to do all of our work. This is the big job here. Let's get, oh, the full center console is unmounted. <sighs> Jesus. That was a lot of work, guys. Everything is literally unmounted from the center console and this is completely open. Hopefully this is worth it. I will let you guys know. So now all of that's done, we need to remove this panel right here. And once this panel's removed, that'll get us inside of here where we can put the short shifter adapter. I'll update you guys whenever that's done. We are almost ready to install this. We've got all the clips and the shifter cable loose from the bushing right here. Now I believe it's time to slip this bushing on the actual short shifter adapter. And then this will mount into here, I think. Hopefully that made sense. It honestly probably did not. I will show you guys what I mean once this is actually on the car. All right, so I got the blue bushing off of the actual shifter right here and installed it on the short shifter adapter. So now what needs to happen is the short shifter adapter slides on into the shifter. All the way up is for the longest throw and you can move it down gradually to get the shorter throw, but you need to be sure that the shifter cable actually will fit onto the bushing. So I'm gonna get it to my desired height and test the shifter through the gears to make sure I like the throw, and then we will start installing everything back on. Okay, so before I actually install the, uh, the short shifter adapter, I'm taking a look at the Alta shifter cable lock, which mounts somewhere 
you guys can see that. And these directions really are not clear on what clip I'm supposed to take out because I don't see the clip they're talking about down here. It's really, really dark, so you guys can't see, but I don't see what they're actually talking about. I think this will be saved for another day, honestly. I don't want to break anything down here, and if I'm not sure about it, I'm definitely not going to risk breaking anything as well. The bushing that we have, uh, the bushing actually does not get installed inside here. It actually gets installed in the engine bay, and I don't think I will have time to do that today. So maybe both of these things will get done on a different day, but for now, we are definitely going to install the short shifter and make that happen because that can get done right now. I went ahead and attached the short shifter adapter to the shifter cable now. Now that it's attached, it should actually be a fully functioning sh uh, short shifter. I'm going to go ahead and install shift knob just for a second to see if I can notice anything. So let's see. Oh my God. That is insane. Are you kidding me? Oh, dude, these throws are nuts. Oh my God. That's crazy. Okay, so this is neutral here. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Dude, six is ridiculous. Everything works. We're tight down here. It's cool to see all of this move. Very nice, okay. Short shifter is installed. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together. Feel it, Dad. What changed? This in here. Oh, this whole piece. Yeah, that so whole piece. So it's adjustable. Yeah, it's adjustable. I can make it longer or shorter. Oh man. Holy shit. <laughs> That's pretty tight. That's sick. It's definitely one of the tighter shift patterns I've ever felt. Okay, so now that the short shifter is installed, I'm gonna spend the next hour and a half of my life making sure that all of this is put back together correctly. I plug in all of the wiring harness in the correct spots because if you don't plug everything in, it could cause rattling down the line. Plus, this is just a lot of pieces to mess up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll go for a little test drive after. Okay guys, so, for, oh my gosh, that's so gnarly. I think it does sit a little lower than it does stock. I don't know, maybe it's just me in my head, but I think it does sit lower than stock, but the throws are freaking ridiculously short. This is probably one of the most fun mods, for sure, when I'm driving. So before I go out and do a little test drive with this thing, I do have some lunch. So I'm gonna eat lunch. I'm starving, it's like three o'clock right now, and, really haven't eaten all day, which is bad because I am training for a powerlifting meet. So let's go eat lunch real fast and then give this thing a test drive. So like I said, I am training for a powerlifting meet and right now I'm sitting about 185 and I'm going to compete in the 198 class. So I am dieting pretty heavily right now, dieting. So I have six ounces of chicken breast right here along with 160 grams of rice, lots of carbs and lots of protein. If you guys are interested, I'll do like a full day of eating video pretty soon. So um, yeah, just thought I'd throw that in there. Okay guys, it is now time for us to go on a little drive here with the new short shifter. Probably a really bad angle and I apologize for that, but I don't have my wide angle lens. Be able to show you guys a full wide view, but I do have this and I'll be filming a little bit of the short shifter. So this is our first test drive with the actual short shifter installed and it's gonna be pretty awesome. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. It's perfect, so notchy. Okay, we're gonna go through first through six. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. And then sixth. Obviously we didn't, we were not able to install the shifter cable lock or shifter bushing today because this requires a whole other panel to be disassembled and that's all in the engine bay. So 
We will get to that uh, in a later video, but overall I'm very happy with the short shifter. We'll do all of this another time. I've been shooting here a lot and this has definitely became one of my favorite spots to just hang out and chill, I guess, and just get away from literally everything. I've been spending a lot of time out here just thinking about life in general and like how far we have come, how far Legends as a brand has came and in such a short amount of time it's gone so much farther than I could have ever imagined and I owe it all to you guys. I mean, without you watching this video and you supporting me through Legends, I wouldn't have any of this. I um, wouldn't have a YouTube channel, because I have viewers. I mean, like, thank you guys so unbelievably much for allowing this to be my life and enjoying my videos and liking everything I do because it truly does mean the world to me that I'm able to do this and I'm very happy that you guys enjoy watching me go through life and all the different steps it takes and I'm gonna make an effort more in the vlog to go outside my comfort zone, which I mean, you guys know that I basically stay to cars and a lot of you are subscribed to cars, but cars aren't the only thing that I love in life. You guys know that I like fitness a lot and I really wanna start integrating more fitness content into this channel because I am preparing to compete in a powerlifting meet in November. So I think it'd be cool to take you guys along, maybe even like once a week a uh, fitness related video just on my prep, my training, my, my diet, all of that kind of stuff. And I think it'd be cool to add that in because not only do I want this channel to portray cars, I want this channel to portray everything that I love. And I think putting fitness on this channel would also open up a whole new audience for, for me and for this channel, which would be really cool as well. So that's something that I wanted to try, but that's besides the point here. I've been driving this thing nonstop and the short shifter feels amazing. Looks really good in the car. I think I'm pretty positive it is shorter. I mean, you guys can tell me in the comments down below if you think it's shorter or not, but I am in love. That's a mod that I've always wanted to do for a very, very long time. So happy that I was able to finally do it. It's all setting in and it's, it's really, really awesome. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. You guys will see the new exhaust next video. Peace out. Oh, Mickey. Thanks, man.